Good morning everybody, we've finally made it to the Lake District and we've arrived at a place called Fellfoot which is on the south tip of Lake Windermere. So yeah. um, It's raining a little bit at the moment but we are wrapped up nice and warm, lovely autumn colours everywhere and we're just going for a little explore and it's a National Trust car park that we parked in yep. and as we're members we got to park for free so really nice and easy, had toilets as well and we're just going to go out and explore. Normally we wouldn't come to Lake Windermere because um, it'd just be really busy but because it's late in autumn turning into winter now it um, actually seems quite quiet so this car park was pretty much empty and um, yeah so far there's only a few walkers, a few dog walkers out and about but we'll find out as we head a little bit further north from the lake before going to some of the other lakes throughout the week but so far nice and quiet and just really peaceful only a little bit of drizzle but the colours are so beautiful still so it's a win for us. So we've just arrived at these beautiful boat houses and I don't think they're, I think they might be used but it's out of season at the moment and they have um, private jetties as well that go right out onto the lake. Almost looks like a mini castle, they're so beautiful. So after about a half an hour drive we've just arrived at Claith um, viewing platform and there's a ferry here that you can get across to um, the other side of Lake Windermere. So it's just started raining now so we've got our brolly and we're just making our way up the steps so follow me and I'll take you there. So we've just come across this sign that says um, that basically in 1698 they didn't think the Lake District was very pretty and didn't, wasn't worthy of visitors and then obviously a few years later they decided to start treating it like artwork called the picturesque movement and they, when visitors would come they had to use something called a clawed glass which is like a mirror-like device that the visitors had to look through when looking at the beautiful um, views of the Lake District so that they wouldn't faint because apparently it was too beautiful for them to look at with their own natural eyes. So basically that's like modern life isn't it? It's like me looking through my phone like this. It's much better. Oh, you didn't faint. <laughs> so this is the viewing platform up here. It's got two like stained glass kind of windows that I think have been restored by the National Trust. And this is the view across the lake. It looks like it's an old like house because it's got a chimney just here. So it's not exactly. Shape. They built it for this view. There you go. So they built it for this view. So it's specifically called the viewing station. So um, that's pretty cool. But it's um, obviously not doing too well at the moment because it's a bit broken. And it was recently restored by the National Trust. They restored these, the glass bits, so you wouldn't faint. Well, they, they worked <laughs> hard on that then. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided that we're going to take the ferry across to Bowness on Windermere. So we're going to take the van and the cats with us across the lake. And um, it costs five pounds, is it, for the van and us? So it's not too bad. You can go across as well or just as a passenger and it's like a pound each. So we just decided that we might as well just take the van across. So let's go and take the ferry. You excited to go on the ferry? This is going to be fun. So um, I'm guessing a lot of people they'll stay, they'll park their cars in the car parks over in the main town and then they'll get the ferry as foot passengers across to here and do what we've just done. But we, um, yeah, we've decided to drive across because there's a car park we can park in tonight, we think, and um, it's not too bad of a price. It's going to be quite complicated, I think, to find any good spots to wild camp around here because it's all very policed, I think. It's very, like, cracked down on. So there is a car park over there that we think we can stay in and we do kind of want to try go on the um, the... Uh, steamers the tomorrow. steamers tomorrow so the um the lake cruise and um, we've spoken to them this morning they said to give them a call tomorrow to see if we can go on the boat which would be really cool to do because it'll take us up and down the um, lake i think that'd be really cool to film so yeah we think we're going to stay there tonight and then try get a lake cruise tomorrow 
and then um, yeah, see what happens. But it's gonna be fun. So at least we're gonna go on a boat with the van, and that'd be quite fun. This will be the first boat this van's been on with us. So um, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's just like a chain. Is it a chain ferry? It must be a chain ferry. Yeah, I think it's got like you can kind of see the chain through the side, and it just goes backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I think most people come from this side as well because um, the main road, the road that we came down to the viewpoint, it's kind of like a B road, but it's, it's uh, quite tight. Isn't yeah, it? it's quite tight. So I think people probably just think, oh, it's just easier just to get the ferry across. <laughs> That's what we're doing. made it onto the boat or the ferry and we are just about to pay and Sky is very excited. Are you excited to be on the boat Sky? She's got the best seat, good views. And we're off. It's very slow but this is cool. So as I said it's the first time we've been on a boat or a ferry with this van which is really cool and um, I don't know how long it takes it's only a few minutes to get across but yeah really cool to be on here. And, um, yeah, we can already see the other side. It's <laughs> literally just, just a stone's throw away. I'd love to see you throw a stone across that part. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. Got some islands on our left. And all the colours are so pretty. <laughs> really wet miserable morning this morning but it's really nice this afternoon now and we've just got on one of the uh, lake cruises to go up to Ampleside so we're really excited it's one of the bigger boats as well so it looks really pretty so yeah we've got a good view yeah I think it takes about 70 minutes they said to go up there and back but we've got freedom of the late tickets which means we can do any of the routes and we've got them for 24 hours so we might come back tomorrow morning and do the um, island one as well because that just reminds us of like Canada and stuff it's so pretty out here with all the autumn mm. colors the little islands and everything yeah. it's gonna be pretty epic and see some blue skies so we're on the back of the boat at the moment and the sun has come out just for us. So we're just going to Ambleside at the moment and yeah, really enjoying it. We've just made it to Ambleside. We've got about 20 minutes here before the last boat goes back. You're so we're gonna make the most of it. We, I thought we had less time, but we've actually got 20 minutes, which is not bad. So yeah, just gonna make the most of it before getting back on the boat and heading back to Balness. So we're just standing here looking at the scenery and a Eurofighter Typhoon just flew over us. And I got a photo on the camera, but it was like super low and super fast. That was this really was cool. Both, this was everyone just here like. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> We're about to get the boat back to Valness now, so it looks like the clouds are rolling in, so hopefully they go away. I got the window seat. <laughs> Good morning everybody, we've woken to a beautiful day here in the Lake District on uh, Lake Windermere again and we're walking back down to the lakeside to go get another boat. Yeah, I've even put sun cream on because <laughs> <laughs> the sun is out, got our sunnies ready and yeah, really excited to get on the water again. Yeah, so we're going to do um, the island cruise this morning we think, so we had time last night just for one cruise but because we've got a 24 hour ticket we're going to squeeze in another 
ride this morning before heading to Coniston and going and doing some hiking up some mountains. So we're really excited, the sun's out, looks beautiful and can't wait to see the islands. So we just finished a beautiful island cruise, oh, that was really yeah. nice. The sun was out and it was just perfect. Went around all the islands and we saw some of the most expensive houses in the Lake District, yeah. which was very interesting. It's got our, um, our juices flowing for wanting to buy a, a nice lakeside <laughs> yeah. property. We were just <laughs> dreaming and picking out our uh, dream house. Yeah. So we're going to head back to the van now and we found a little campsite just on Lake Coniston where we're going to head to because we're going to have, um, we're going to charge our batteries and get ready to go on some hikes in the mountains. So um, yeah, just going to head over back to the van now and get going. just arrived in Coniston for the afternoon and it's absolutely beautiful here. I could live here I think, it's amazing <laughs> and it's got the beautiful mountains overlooking the town or the village. A river running through it. Yeah and we found like a really nice little um, campsite where it's only like five pitches so it's really really quiet, really nice and we've just had a quick shower because we're a bit stinky. So we're <laughs> gonna go on for a hike for a couple of hours just into the mountains just to check everything out and um, yeah then we're gonna come back for some dinner but the weather's perfect, so we thought that we couldn't pass up the opportunity to go and explore. Go and explore. Yeah. So Hannah's just getting the snacks out for us. What have you got? I've got us. Um... Caramel wafer biscuits. These are the best. <laughs> yeah, your mum always gets them, doesn't she? I think so, yeah. And um, now we are getting them too. <laughs> so they're really tasty, good snack. So we're just on the trail that goes up to the Old Man of Coniston, and we're not going to go all the way up tonight because we've only got about half an hour or so of sunlight left, so we wouldn't make it. But just behind me here is the old copper mines, I think it is, and there's like a big, massive pile of rubble they've pulled out you can't see it because of the tree I think at the moment but yeah this is where they used to mine all up this re um, trail here you'll see like remnants of the old copper mi mines and stuff so it's really cool and historic to go look at but yeah the, the views here are incredible we're loving this the sun has just dipped below the mountain but we're having a great day So we've just made it back to Coniston and we think we'll go have a look around the village quick before heading back to the van and getting some dinner. But yeah, really nice little hike and can't wait for tomorrow to go on some more hikes. Hopefully the weather is just as good, but it's looking good for tomorrow. But then after that, maybe not so good. So we're gonna make the most of the dry weather. Good morning, everybody. It's just gone 10.30 a.m. and we are back on the trail to Old Man of Coniston. And it's a bit more moody this morning, but very beautiful. And we're hoping to get to the top it's about 800 meters, I think, Old Man Coniston, just over. And the hike is between four and five hours. So we've got packed lunch with us and we'll have a nice little hike today. So the cloud's really low today, as you can see behind me. Most of the peaks are actually obscured by all the cloud. And we're heading up into the cloud now, so it's a lot cooler up here. And um, yeah, not sure what the views could be like. Hopefully it maybe burns off a little bit but it is supposed to be quite cloudy today. So yeah, might be a mysterious one up the mountain today. So we're about halfway up, about 51 minutes to the top, um, about 400 meters, 450 meters of elevation still to go. And we just overheard a teacher with a small group of school kids talking about the mountain and all the mining that takes place here. And she said 
that they say that Coniston is a mountain with so many mines underneath it that you could probably walk through from one side to the other. So that'd be interesting to find out if you can actually do that. But yeah, it's nice and cool up here. Just catching my breath from all the climbing. And we're almost at the top. So if you remember yesterday, I mentioned that this used to be, well, it, part of it still is a big mine, but all the leftovers of all the mining equipment that you can see coming up the mountains, all these massive metal cables that are lying on the side of the mountain and pulleys and stuff there. So yeah, it's pretty cool to see the history and it makes it really eerie up here with all these cables flowing down and um, all the fog and mist up here. We've just made it to low water. We're gonna stop here for a break, have a bit of water, have a snack. And then we're about half an hour from the top of Old Man of Coniston. So nice little break here. And then we're gonna go to the top and then get the trail back down. see behind me I think it's just disappeared now but we're above the clouds when the mist blows over we're actually sitting above the clouds now so that's pretty cool it's about a couple of minutes to the top now almost there very ready for some lunch now as well and um, we're gonna head down fairly quickly I think because there's supposed to be some stronger winds blowing in in the next hour or so so we don't get caught in those we want to get down safely So just made it to the summit just in time as the wings, wind's just starting to pick up now so I think we're actually going to drop down fairly quickly to get out of this wind, have some lunch and then hike back to Coniston. But yeah it's been a beautiful hike even though it's been very misty and cloudy it's made it really mysterious and um, yeah excited to start heading back down and get some food. Yeah I'm hungry. We have just got to our lunch spot and we're eating our sandwiches and we're at low water I think it is where we are now and the cloud keeps blowing over and it feels like the weather's changing so very quick lunch stop and i think we're going to continue on our trail back down good morning everybody we've um this is actually the day after the day it's another day two days later actually what i'm trying to say well yesterday we did all our chores because it was horrendous weather yeah, really wet it was chucking it down so we've driven to stickle barn i think it's called and it's national and trust Langdale. car park and yeah. Langdale and um, we've driven to a national trust car park last night where we could stay because it's um, allowing overnight camping which is great and there's more and more national trust car parks allowing that now which is good and uh, yeah the sun is out this morning we're up nice and early and we're going to a walk to um is it Bo <laughs> what tarn is it? Blea tarn <laughs> and so yeah we're up nice and early the car park's filling up there's a few more vans arriving and we're off and there's some herdwicks in this field but look at this view behind us it's amazing Actually, all around, we've got like 360 mountains around here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we're right in the valley. We're right in the valley, I think it's Langdale Valley, and um, it's very well known for all of the mountains around here. Um, lots of, it's very popular this morning, Saturday morning, so there's quite a few people in the car park. But yeah, you're, you feel like you're straight away right in, in the mountains. So yeah, when we go a bit further, I think it gets a bit more wild and um, less roads and things so let's go it's just so nice after a day of torrential rain like it was literally torrential all day yesterday everything got soaked we had to we did all our chores yesterday so we emptied our toilet we filled up our water but and there was also a van in the campsite next to us that got stuck in the mud so we had to get them out <laughs> didn't film that because it's just so wet and we we're just getting covered like, we would 
we wore our um, waterproofs all day. Trousers and everything. We were completely waterproof. Yeah, up. all day. And um, yeah, so getting out of the van and filling everything up and getting everything sorted was hard work just because we were so wet. And then we went and did our laundry, and then we just drove here and just um, and then it was basically dark because it's so moody and cloudy. So it's really nice to wake up to the sunshine this morning with the mountains because we didn't see any of these yesterday when we arrived because so the rain was so heavy. So yeah, perfect day so far. just made it to Blea Tarn and um, the sun is popping up over the clouds which is really nice so we think we're just going to sit down and relax for a little bit on the edge of the lake and uh, yeah it's really um, the last few days we've been really tired because of the, all the hiking up Old Man Coniston and all the work we did yesterday and the, the bad weather so I think we're just going to this is a fairly easy hike today which is nice and we're just going to walk around the lake in a bit and um, take it easy but yeah I think we definitely need a more relaxed day coming soon because we've been on the go non-stop pretty much so it's, um, it's nice to have good weather and just be able to take it easy a little bit. little stop in the sun, a little bit of a sunbathe and um, we've just gone past, there's a little car park just opposite the town but the road up to it is very um, narrow so we didn't risk that, <laughs> there's only small cars parked up there um, so we're just walking back along the road now so we're kind of going in a circular route back to um, Stickle Tarn I think which is where we're parked so um, yeah, maybe find a stop for lunch in a bit, but it's just so peaceful out here. There's a bit of a breeze on this side, but we're really enjoying just having a nice leisurely stroll. Um, we were kind of thinking, oh, maybe let's go up one of the peaks, but yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna push ourselves today. It's the weekend after all. <laughs> so this is the mountain we were thinking of hiking up. It's called Side Pike or Fat Man's Agony, I think Hannah said it's also called. Um, yeah, we were thinking of doing it, but we think we're just a bit too tired today. We've had a, as I said we've had a busy few days, so I think we're going to give it a miss and maybe do another mountain next week. But Would you live there? Yeah, that's a pretty cool spot to live, right? Right there. Do you live there? Yeah. I was just saying earlier, like, oh, it feels so Christmassy with the, with the pines and things and having like a little wooden cottage somewhere up here. So we've got to side pike footpath and we've decided that we are going to try and give it a go. Um, we might be stupid because we are pretty tired but only it's, it's only a quarter of a mile it's saying so we think we can uh, make it up there. I don't think, does it take you to the very top or is it just to the saddle bit up there? Find out. So we'll see. So we've come up a little way up the side pike path. And you can see it just above me up there. I don't think this path takes us to the top of the mountain. I'm not sure because there was another path that cuts along. And this one said side pike, three quarters of a mile. So I think there's like some sort of saddle we're going to get to where we can sit on and have a look over the other side. So we think we're going to go up there and um, have lunch from there and then um, get ourselves back down to the cats. So we just made it up to the top of side pike trail. We just met a lovely guy called Simon. So Simon, if you're watching, nice to meet you. And um, yeah, I think we're just going to stop up here now, have a bit of lunch and then probably start working our way back down. But yeah, perfect day to be in the mountains. We've just stopped for lunch and we've got lovely sourdough pate sandwiches. Which Johnny's tucking into. <laughs> and we have got this incredible view for lunch. Right. 
just on our way back down now. We've um, had a great lunch stop and beautiful views, really warm and sunny, really amazing day and um, great lunch. And so we're just heading back down to the van now. It's gonna be about an hour's walk back, I think. And then we will check up on Tyr and Sky, make sure they're okay. Maybe give them a little bit of a walk and uh, probably chill for the last little bit of the day. There's only probably about two hours of sunlight left. Um, it'll dip below, below the mountains quite quickly now and then that'll be the day done. But so lucky with this weather because considering how torrential the rain was yesterday. So yeah, really happy to be out in the mountains today enjoying a nice day. car park we parked at and this place was empty when we left this morning and it's absolutely packed now I mean obviously the weather's great and it's a Saturday but it's heaving absolutely packed so this is where we parked and luckily we don't need to move anywhere anytime soon because we wouldn't be able to get out of this spot because of all the cars that are kind of blocking us in we wouldn't get enough room to get out so um, I think we're gonna head to the pub up here go get a drink and just relax for a bit but yeah Epic day out in the mountains, and it looks like the cats are all doing well. They're just both fast asleep. It's Tia. Chilling in our favourite spot, and Sky is somewhere on the bed back there. Mm. So how was your day? It was a lovely day. We had the best weather today. It was like sun all day. And we are back at the car park now, and just outside the pub, which is very pretty. And we've got some chips. <laughs> um, so yeah, really nice day. Just couldn't have asked for a better day, really. So that's the end of our first episode in the Lake District. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on our videos because it really means a lot to us and bumps us up in the YouTube algorithm. And we'll see you guys in the next one.